Hi everyone. I am here with your guys' Bible reading for today. This is our last day of the week that we will be reading in the English Standard Version. Tomorrow it will change to a new version and I won't know till then what it is, but when I know, you guys will know for sure. We're going to start off today with 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 1 through 28, the resurrection of Christ. Now I would remind you, brothers, of the gospel I preached to you, which you received in which you stand, and by which you are being saved. If you hold fast to the word I preached to you, unless you believed in vain. For I delivered to you as of first importance that I also received that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, and that his appearance to Cephas then to the twelve. Then he appeared to more than five hundred brothers at one time, most of whom are still alive, though some have fallen asleep. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one untimely born, he appeared also to me, for I am the least of the apostles, unworthy to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace toward me was not in vain. On the contrary, I worked harder than any of them, though it was not I, but the grace of God that is in with me, whether then it was I or they, so we preach, and so you believed. The Resurrection of the Dead Hair everywhere, even on my tongue. Jeesh. Now if Christ is proclaimed as raised from the dead, how can some of you say that there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there is no resurrection of the dead, then not even Christ has been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then our preaching is in vain, and your faith is in vain. We are even found to be misrepresenting God because we testified about God that he raised Christ, whom he did not raise, if it is true that the dead are not raised. For if the dead are not raised, not even Christ has been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is futile, and you are still in your sins. Then those also who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. If in Christ we have hope, in this life only we are all people, most to be pitied. But in fact, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For as by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive, but each in his own order. Christ, the first fruits, then at this coming, those who belong to Christ. Then comes the end, when he delivers the kingdom to God the Father, after destroying every rule and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. For God has put all things in subjection under his feet. But when it says all things are put in subjection, it is plain that he is expected who put all things in subjection under him. When all things are subjected to him, then the Son himself will also be subjected to him who put all things in subjection under him, that God may be all in all. And that was 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 through 28. And our psalm for today is going to be Psalm 38. Do not forsake me, O Lord, a psalm of David for the memorial offering. O Lord, 
Revoke me not in your anger, nor discipline me in your wrath. For your arrows have sunk into me, and your hand has come down on me. There is no soundness in my flesh because of your indignation. There is no health in my bones because of my sin. For my iniquities have borne over my head like a heavy burden. They are too heavy for me. My wounds stink and fester because of my foolishness. I am utterly bowed down and prostrate all the day I go about mourning. For my sides are filled with burning, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am feeble and crushed. I groan because of the tumult of my heart. O oh Lord, all my longing is before you. My sighing is not hidden from you. My heart throbs, my strength fails me, and the light of my eyes, it also has gone from me. My friends and companions stand aloft from my plague, and my nearest kin stand far off. Those who seek my life lay their snares. Those who seek my hurt speak of ruin and meditate treachery all day long. But I am like a deaf man I do not hear, like a mute man who does not open his mouth. I have become like a man who does not hear, and in whose mouth are no revokes. But for you, O Lord, do I wait. It is you, O Lord my God, who will answer. For I said, only let not rejoice over me, who boast against me when my foot slips. For I am ready to fall, and my pain is ever before me. I confess my iniquity. I am sorry for my sin. But my foes are vigorous, they are mighty, and many are those who hate me wrongfully. Those who render me evil for good accuse me because I follow after good. Do not forsake me, O Lord. O my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. Are you okay? You okay, little girl? She's just looking at me, smiling. <laughs> I don't got no num nums. You already had a chocolate chip cookie. Two chocolate chip cookies. Okay, guys, that was Psalm 38. Do not forsake me, O Lord. A Psalm of David of for the memorial offering. I don't got no more. You ate them all. You had chocolate chip cookies, and then you ate my pizza. Okay, guys, the, for lastly, for our Bible reading today, we're going to read Proverbs chapter 21, verses 28 and 29. A false witness will perish, but the word of a man who hears will endure. A wicked man puts on a bold face, but the upright gives thought to his way. And that was Proverbs chapter 21, verses 28 and 29. Okay, guys, that was today's Bible reading. I hope it touched your guys' hearts. I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. I've been here in all week that it was going to rain, and... Mom told me that they got rain where they live last night, which is not far from here. Really, about they live in Ray, so um, anyway, it rained there. But I never noticed us getting any rain here in MacArthur yesterday. But so every time they say it rains this week, it has not rained. So I'm just not believing it no more. I'm not gonna believe it till I see it. But, um, yes, feeling much better today. Yesterday was a bad day for me. I will explain more about that in my blog. But um, thank you guys for sticking by me always. And thank you for the prayers for our sister in Christ, April Thacker. Please continue to keep her in your prayers. Um, she thanks you guys very much for all your prayers. 
and she really appreciates them, guys. So we love you guys. Let's bring those souls to Jesus, and God willing, I'll see you guys tomorrow with another Bible reading. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Bye, guys. God bless.